Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm doing my 27 week pregnancy update. So I missed doing my last update. I was going to do one at 26 weeks and then 28 weeks and try to keep it on the even weeks because that's what I like to try to aim for. But we moved last weekend so it's been a little bit hectic and I felt like it was a little bit late to be filming the 26 week update so I'm like we'll just move on to the 27 one and figure it out. So hopefully you guys enjoy this update and let's get right into this video. So my baby center app, which is my favorite pregnancy app for kind of tracking what's going on with the baby and what size they are and just like different things that are developing on the baby. It's just like really fun to see. The app says the baby is the size of a cauliflower this week, which seems totally massive to me. They say the baby is about 14 and a half inches long and weighs two pounds. That is getting so big, especially with having been working on selling our house and moving during this pregnancy. I feel like, I don't know, it's like sneaking up on me. Like this baby is getting really big. Like it's gonna be here before we even realize it. It's like, <laughs> it is sneaking up on me a little bit. The baby is super active, especially when I first go to bed for the night or I first wake up in the morning. It seems like then they're like the most active for like the longest chunk of time. Or maybe it's because I'm just like still that I notice it more, but when I first go to bed, they'll be like half an hour to an hour where they're like bouncing around like nonstop. <laughs> and the kicks are big enough during the day that I notice them all the time, but they're definitely more active in the first early morning and when I first go to bed at night, <laughs> which is kind of sweet though, because we're just by ourselves and laying in bed and I feel like it's kind of like our special time together, especially now that this is my third, it's like kind of the only time of the day that it's just like me and the new baby that we get to kind of connect and get to know each other a little bit more. Put a sweater on because it's a little bit chilly in here. <laughs> our new house is heated by wood stove and then it's got no air conditioning. Our last house had a swamp cooler so it's been a little bit interesting figuring out how to keep it cool enough during the day but hot enough at night. So. We've been wearing a lot more sweaters lately. But the baby's movements are like big enough that you can really easily see it from outside. And it's to the point where you get to see those like big sweeping motions across your belly, which is so fun. I always love that point. But you can just see like a hand or a foot or something just like roll across your whole belly. And it's like the coolest feeling and it looks really cool too. And Luke can feel it really easily, which is nice to get to that point because for a, a while now, it's been kind of where he can feel it from the outside, but you ha he kind of has to like hold really still and like focus really hard. And he might even miss it and I'll, I'll feel it kick from the inside. And I'll be like, did you feel that? And he's like, no, I didn't feel that. But now the baby's kicks are big enough that he can really consistently feel it from the outside, even if he's not like focusing 100% attention on trying to feel it. There's like super obvious kicks and that's been really nice because I always love having Luke feel and he, he enjoys kind of connecting with the baby in that way. So I thought in this pregnancy update, I would share my essential oil regimen a little bit. In one of my last updates, I shared what supplements and vitamins I like to take during pregnancy. And I will link that video down below if you guys wanted to go see that. But I love my essential oils and especially during this pregnancy, maybe it's the unsettledness of the move or something that I need something to like, like a routine to do every night that really like grounds me that I've been like even more into the essential oils than before, which is really saying something. <laughs> so I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I've been doing specifically for the pregnancy. There's a lot more things that I add on just for, for other things like hair and just all kinds of different stuff. But there's two essential oils that I haven't used in past pregnancies that I've been really enjoying this one. And those are bergamot and geranium. Oh, and lemongrass. I also haven't used lemongrass in past pregnancies, but I've been really liking lemongrass specifically for my varicose veins. So I actually started making padsicles. I think I talked about that in one of my last videos, but I'll add lemongrass on the padsicle. And I'll also put this in baths and it kind of helps reduce inflammation and different things and it also smells like amazing. And then bergamot I've been using more for emotional support, just like uplifting feelings. It's more in the citrus family of essential oils. 
so which I totally love citrus essential oils but I will put a little bit on the back of my neck and kind of on my jawline I have a diffuser necklace and a diffuser bracelet and this is normally what I will put on those I also have it in my mermaid hairspray which gets sprayed on my hair so I smell it there too the hairspray is not specifically for pregnancy but I mean some of the essential oils in it are just like really like emotionally supportive which I find is really important for pregnancy and then the geranium I've been using this on my belly a lot it's really great for skin health and so just like my stomach is kind of getting to the point where it's getting really stretched out and I also use it on my face because I get a little bit more acne when I'm pregnant. I made a roller bottle specifically for my belly because in my past pregnancies I made a belly balm but then I tend to not use it as much as I should because either I'll wear it during the day and it'll get my shirt all greasy and stain it or I'll put it on right before bed and it'll stain our sheets. So then I end up never wearing it. And I'm like, why did I make this? So I found just using a roller bottle, it's got less oil that's gonna get on stuff. And it's a small enough amount of the oil for more essential oils compared to the oil that I find I can put it on right before bed and it's not gonna get all over our sheets because it, it does just like really soak in faster. So this has fractionated coconut oil, Geranium, that's the bulk of it is the geranium and then also has, I'm pretty sure, lavender and frankincense. So I'll put this on at least once in the evening. Sometimes I'll try to do it in the morning. I should just carry it around in my pocket and apply as I think of it because just the more I can get on my belly, the easier it'll stretch and it'll just hopefully get less uncomfortable close to the end of my pregnancy because I do get really stretched out and it starts to like kind of itch and hurt. and. So hopefully I can avoid that a little bit more with that roller bottle. <laughs> so that's my main essential oil routine and I'll normally do that in the evening when me and Luke are watching, watching something after the kids go to bed or if I take a, a bath in the evening, I'll do it right after the bath before I go to bed. And that's just been really nice to have something that I do every evening that's like comforting like that with such oils and it just smells good. And it's actually been really helping me with those things. So that I have been really enjoying that lately. I've had a lot more pelvic pain since moving specifically. I think I overdid it a little bit. It didn't, I don't think it got here this early with my other pregnancies. And I'm sure a lot of that has to do with that we moved pretty late in my pregnancy. We moved during my daughter's pregnancy too, but it was like I was seven weeks along or something and now I'm 27 weeks. So a bit further along than last time. I have been way too active. I really did overdo it. I was on my feet like all day, like for several weeks when we were packing and even when we were showing the house and I would have to keep the house clean for showings. And then even after we closed, I was taking loads up by myself and carrying boxes and because I was excited and I I should have rested more but yeah I also am an extreme planner and moving really stresses me out and it just like helped me feel better to do something I don't think I could have sat still anyway so yeah my pelvis is definitely feeling it my pubic bone really hurts by the end of the day by the end of the day, normally the left side of my pubic bone will be like kind of burning and it seems like not really any position laying in bed will help it. I just kind of have to fall asleep and then laying still that long, it will feel more back to normal in the morning. But I really should have a few days of just like really taking it easy and not being on my feet very much, which is easier said than done with two toddlers running around. So. That'll probably just be an issue for the rest of the pregnancy and that's all right. I just need to start going to the chiropractor more and that'll help kind of manage it. Okay, I moved outside because I'm trying to keep my daughter asleep for her nap and this boy is very loud. So we're sitting outside on the porch and I'm gonna finish filming this update. So that explains the change of scenery. Yes, I know, it's very loud. You like to talk? I've been having a lot of feet issues this pregnancy, which I'm not sure how much of this pregnancy related and how much is just that I kind of have bad feet and both of them have been broken several times back when I used to train horses. I've, the day we cleaned this house, I was on my feet all day. I had socks and boots on 
all day long, which I haven't done in a really long time. I like to have bare feet as much as possible. But after that day, I don't know if I like bruised underneath the nail on my two big toes. This is really weird. I'm sorry, this is so weird. But they're kind of black and blue underneath the nail and they hurt. They either hurt or feel numb when you push on them, which is so weird. So I don't know if this is a totally unrelated thing and it's like a bone spur issue, which is weird that it would be both toes at the same time, which is what's making me think it's maybe more related to having more weight and having been on my feet all day in tight shoes. That's, I have a feeling that's what it is, but I don't know. So I've been trying to do foot soaks every night with Epsom salts. If it's a day that's a little more relaxed and we're not working as much, I'll try to do twice a day, just as much as possible. So I'll use Epsom salts and tea tree essential oil because that's really good for feet and lavender essential oil. Try to bring down inflammation as much as possible in case that's all it is. And then I've just been trying really hard to remember to sit down as much as possible, which is so hard when you're unpacking your house and you want to arrange stuff and it's it's been really difficult. But now that the house is getting a little bit more in order, I've been really trying to focus on that more. So hopefully that's all it is, but I really need to ask my midwife about that because it's, it's weird. I don't know what's going on with my feet. So I've been doing also just more baths in general for my joints and my feet. On nights I take a bath, I won't do my foot soak. Obviously, I'll just add a lot of Epsom salts and that really helps, especially my hips and my knees and my ankles and all the joints that have a lot more weight on them right now. And then I'll put in all my favorite pregnancy essential oils. And it's actually really nice that our new bathtub is, a, is deeper than our old one. So that's been kind of a fun treat is like baths are even funner now that our new bathtub is deep deeper than our old one because no one likes shallow baths and they just get cold a lot faster so that's been a lot of fun i've been having a little bit harder time emotionally with the move during the pregnancy and just knowing that i'll have three soon i don't know how i'll be able to handle three because two is hard enough and especially since my daughter my oldest is going through a really difficult phase where she's hitting the second one I'm like, how am I gonna deal with this when I'm sitting on the couch breastfeeding the third one and I can't get up? Especially just thinking about that it's gonna be harder with three and then moving and I just have a hard time with change and it's just been a lot. So I've been having a little bit of a hard time emotionally. I've just been feeling uh, more depressed easily. Like I'll get depressed more easily, I guess is how I should say that. But we'll get it all figured out. We'll get settled into our new place soon. And once the baby's here, we'll just get it figured out with three. At least this is how it was between one and two is that the anticipation of what it was gonna be like with two was way worse than the reality. Because once he arrived, I was like, oh, this is not as bad as I was kind of imagining. So I'm sure it'll be the same way with two and three and we'll all be fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I think that's mostly it for this pregnancy update. I do have a midwife appointment scheduled for about two weeks out from now and she's coming to our new house to see it and also know where it is because she's gotta be able to get here fast for the birth. So I'll definitely keep you updated on that appointment and I'm also really excited for her to see the new house. So let's show you guys the bump. So here's the bump. This is the most comfortable like kind of loungewear that I got from the Irie collection. I will link them down below because these are so comfortable and they're cotton and hand dyed and I got a whole bunch of them, but they're like the best for yoga and just lounging around the house, especially since this is the first summer I've been pregnant during. So I made sure to get a lot of warm weather clothes. watching this pregnancy update and I will see you in my next video. Bye!